Hi, Shannon here from houseimprovements.com and uh, today we're going to give you a quick video on uh, installing house wrap. The tools to uh, do this job are really simple and basic. You need some type of a stapler, uh, you may need your hammer, and you're going to need a sharp knife to cut it with. Um, basically that'll get you everything you need to, to get going here. And of course you also need a roll of the actual house wrap, just like this, what you see here, this product. So to start out with, I already pre-cut the house wrap to a little bit longer than the, need, the length I needed. And I've attached it with a couple staples up there just to get it hanging so that uh, I can show you how to start. Uh, basically I'm going to run the, the wrap right along the top edge of the wall and uh, run a row of staples there so that it gets it hanging straight and flat. The less wrinkles in it the better, the easier it is for you. We're going to go right over any window and door openings for now and then we'll cut them out after. So I'm just going to staple this up. It's nice to get it hanging as straight and level as possible, like I said, for the wrinkles. Also, if you notice on the house wrap, there's these uh, little squares, and that indicates the amount of staples that you need and the position of them. So it really helps you. You don't have to measure anything or anything. They're, they're about eight inches apart, it looks like. Okay, so now I've got a hang from a staple to the top. And we've got it level. I go usually about in the center of the sheet. Oh, we can't here. I go in the center of the sheet. I just smooth it kind of out. Pull the wrinkles out. And get the staple in just to get it hanging. You can see how that's nice and flat there. If you get it all wrinkled up, it just makes it harder for siding over and everything else. So now I've got it all stapled, uh, staple on every one of these red squares. Uh, now I'm going to go back and cut out any openings. So just simply with your with a sharp knife, just feel you'll, you'll feel the edge of the plywood where the opening is. This one's a doorway. this corner I had an existing piece coming around and it runs back behind here back into this area so this uh, piece I just hung I've overlapped it 12 inches but I've got a joint here near the corner so I'm gonna, just gonna run the tape over top that joint put the tape on Give it a real good rub with your hand. Make sure it's sticking. That prevents any moisture from getting in between the two layers at any joints that you've, you've put on. Uh, around the windows and doors, uh, we will address that in another video about installing windows and doors. So then after that, once you've got all your seams taped, really all you have left to do is uh, cut your bottom off to length and uh, tape that as well. So I, I've already cut this. I would cut right across the whole width of the building. 
at whatever level you decide is the bottom. And then in this case, I'm going to tape this down. I've got some metal coming up there. I'm going to tape it to the uh, to the white metal. Okay, so we've showed you how to install the house wrap. Uh, we've showed you to overlap the seams by 12 inches, uh, tape all your any seams you have, uh, cut your windows and doors open. Uh, there isn't much more to it. It's a pretty simple job, but it's very important. This this keeps the moisture that gets through your exterior finish from getting into the interior of your house. So this is a very important step. Uh, but I think that's all we have to show you. So thanks for watching today. You've seen this video uh, probably on our YouTube channel and you can check our other ones out there as well or you can go to our website at houseimprovements.com. Thanks.